Replacing modules in an LED wall might seem really straightforward, and, and it actually is really straightforward, but if you've never done anything like this, if you haven't worked with LED walls before, it could feel a little scary, right? You're like, I don't want to break them, any more than, of course, they're already broken, because if you're replacing a module, there's probably a bad one. Uh, but uh, in this video, we're going to talk about exactly that. Hi, I'm David from Learn Stage Lighting Gear. If you're not familiar with us, um, we love to help people find the right gear for their needs, including LED walls. There's basically two kinds of LED walls that you're going to replace modules on. I mean, they're basically the same, but there's some nuances, okay? Um, so the first is a portable style LED wall. So I've got our DVS visitor wall in front of me here, and it's also this wall right here. And with a portable LED wall, you're going to have modules that make up that wall. Now, first thing you want to check with your manufacturer, with whoever you got your wall from, is A, you know, you want to know how many modules there are per panel if you're going to go replace one. Okay. B, number two, is you need to check if there are different modules for different sections of the LED tile. Okay. Some cheaper walls are going to have left-right modules where the, the left module and the right module are actually different in their wiring. They're mirrored and so they're not compatible with each other. So if you're replacing a module, you got to be sure you have an exact match. With this DVS visual wall right here, not an issue. Okay. Totally, uh, totally compatible either way. So I'm going to tell you, going to warn you before I do this, <clears throat> replacing modules in a wall that's standing like that is easier than in a single panel. Uh, but the process is basically the same. So first, check if you have any safety cables on your modules. I do like to pop those off first. Are they really necessary? I don't know, but some people like them. Um, the magnets that basically hold these modules on are so much stronger than, than, than they need to be. Like, they're really strong compared to the amount of weight that they're holding. Um, but the basic process is you're going to have handles on the back of a typical portable uh, wall type module. And you're literally just going to go and push it out, punch it out, and then the module is going to pop off. You can put the new one on. Okay. It's a little bit hard on a single panel. Um, you might need a friend for that just because the panel moves and shakes a little, but I'm going to try to keep my composure nice and, <laughs> and pop it up on camera here uh, on our wall. So getting behind here, you no, know, this is really tight to the truss behind it, but essentially, um, and I know this, this camera is uh, really autofocusy, but essentially just pushing out on the module, hold the wall still on the other side. It is helpful to have a friend for this, um, but I'm here by myself. Um, so <laughs> as simple as pushing on the module. Um, these ones have two handles, upper and lower, which makes it easy to, hopefully easy to, <laughs> I started this really close to this truss because it's being held up by it with some clamps. Easy to grab the two handles. Okay, do as I say, not as I do. <laughs> and then be able to securely and easily push that module out. Come on, buddy. Again, being able to reach behind it is key. This one's just a little bit tight. I think I got it here. Okay, there it is. So two handles, push them out. Um, the biggest key is basically the two things that you're doing as you do this is you're disconnecting data from the module itself, um, and then you're also pushing it off the magnets that hold it in, okay? So those are the two things that are happening, and like I mentioned before, the magnets are super duper strong, um, way stronger than like it would take to hold the module on, but again, that's for safety, so modules don't fall off. So then, again, safety cable. This time I left it attached to this one, could have left it attached to the other one, um, but what we're gonna do now is simply putting it back, you got your new module ready to go, Find your friend again on portable walls. That's typically the best way to do it. Get it in place like so. Do my best Vanna White here. And that safety cable is gonna bugger me. Yeah. So we'll run that behind the power supply. Perfecto. 
Okay, do my best Vanna White. And da, 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 da. really is as simple as popping it in. Boom, it gets power ready to go. Now, the second type of wall you might run into and have to replace a module on if it's got some pixels out or otherwise is a, is a permanent install wall mounted type wall. Okay, so here we have our creation LED wall uh, here on the right. There's many different brands uh, that we have of these, but this is a good, really high quality one. And you're gonna need your vacuum tool. Now this tool is very simple. All it does is you flick it on on the bottom, uh, make sure it's charged. And then when you hit the button, you get some air, right? And that air is gonna suck the module so you can pop it off because there's no handles or anything on these modules. So say I'm here in the middle of my screen, I'm gonna find a module, yeah. I can find the borders just by holding my hand on it, feeling those, okay, turn it on. Turn it off, grab the module, and now it's really as simple as there's just a power and a data cable on the back, disconnect those, pull the module off. When you're ready to go back, you can either put it in manually or use the tool, either way ever so gently place it in and as you probably can't see here because it's not too close up but it's not quite snapping in right um, i'm just pressing on it gently with my fingers but if you did have more issues with that um, essentially the best order of operation there would be to use the vacuum tool to pop it out pop it in until it sits just right um, but that's really it um, so if you need help with LED walls, maybe you were concerned about switching modules. Now you've seen how easy it is. Now you're ready for your first LED wall. Head over to LearnStageLightingGear.com. We love to help. We have a calculator to help you find the best wall for your needs. And also, we help people every day find great walls and be able to get them for their organizations. And uh, we offer the support behind it if you need it products with great warranties and all that jazz so if you love what you see here you want to know more about led walls head over to learn stage lighting gear subscribe here check out the rest on this channel and we'll see you in the next video thanks